Welcome to the vacation edition of one of my videos. As you can see, I've ditched my blazer for a relaxed uh, linen shirt here. Uh, I have a little bit of a different setup going here. But today, we're going to be talking about the importance of a global overview. Uh, I was recently having lunch with a client, and, or a prospective client at the time, now thankfully a client, and the client asked me a question, and the, and the question was, how do you know so much about so many different places? I've never come across an advisor that has such a breadth of knowledge in terms of what jurisdictions offer what structures and how these different uh, jurisdictions work together. And I thought that was a very interesting compliment. It got me thinking a little bit more about why this comment, why the, this prospective client had, had made the comment. And it made me realize the importance of having a, a, a or, or not the importance of it, I realized it was important, but how important having a global overview is as an advisor advising multinational families. And so I made this, I made this I'm making this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about it today. But as with all my videos, before we get into it, a disclaimer. Uh, this presentation is prepared for educational purposes only. This presentation is not legal or tax advice, nor is it to be construed as such. Each individual circumstances are different. You should seek legal and or tax advice to address any specific questions you may have. So I'm going to read a little bit more from my iPad than I usually do because I want to get some of this verbiage right. But first of all, what is a global perspective? So a global perspective is how we see the world around us. It is an understanding of the interconnectedness and relationships between different individuals, groups, cultures, jurisdictions, and economies. Now, that's very important in trying to understand multinational families and multinational business, but how exactly does that translate into wealth structuring? Well, in the wealth structuring context, it means being knowledgeable on a wide range of jurisdictions and staying up to date on all relevant jurisdictions, right? So when a client comes or you know, if, if you come to me or you go to another advisor, you want to go to an advisor that has a good overview of what's going on in the world and what's out there to assist the client, right? So having a global overview as an advisor means knowing which jurisdictions offer which structures, how their tax systems work, what kind of tax treaties they have, what their treaty network looks like, and what regulatory requirements exist there, right? So is there a beneficial owner register? Are there economic substance regulations? Is there a trust register? Are there any other regulatory requirements that need to be complied with? Like, for example, do you need a local administrator? Do you need a local director? These are all things that might impact the client's decision on whether or not to use a particular jurisdiction. And of course, understanding the advantages and disadvantages of each one of those jurisdictions and uh, the structures that they offer in the context of that particular client and their business and, and their needs. And also, I think it's really important to have real world experience working in those jurisdictions. You know, your advisor needs to not only have read about it in a book, but needs to have experience working in a wide range of jurisdictions. Now, I think traditional advisors are very ill-equipped uh, it's going to be a very unpopular opinion amongst uh, attorneys and advisors and, and, account, and you know, accountants that work in this space, but so be it. Um, the point is, most advisors are ill-equipped to advise multinational families because they're single jurisdiction specialists. One of the things that I've come across a lot, like with my clients, as I was saying, this client was like, how do you know so much about so many places? Well. I know it because I've worked in a lot of these places, right? Like when I get a client, I'm looking at all jurisdictions that are out there that might be beneficial to them, all kinds of jurisdictions, but that's because I'm a global businessman myself. Like I've, I've done this for myself, I've done this for clients, but you, most people only have access to advisors that are single jurisdiction advisors, right? It's a lawyer in the UK or it's a lawyer in the US or you know, a, a tax advisor in Luxembourg or something like that, and they only know their jurisdiction, right? So when you go to them, they're not looking for the best jurisdiction or the best structure for you that exists out there. They're looking for the best structure that exists for you within their realm of knowledge, which is this single jurisdiction, 
which is often not the best structure for the client overall. Maybe it's a component of the structure, but generally it's not the best structure overall for the client. Multinational families need multinational advisors with a global perspective to find the best solution for them, right? Because advisors have to understand the different citizenships and residencies of the various family members and the different parties involved in the structure. They need to understand the different asset situses or the business locations and how all this stuff interacts with, with each other so that you can go out there and find the best solution for a client. But this requires the advisor to kind of have in his head a picture of everything that's out there, right? These are the different jurisdictions that are out there. These are the different structures in these different jurisdictions. You know, things are really complicated maybe in this um, jurisdiction for a trust, but you know, it's really great in this jurisdiction, even though the laws on paper look equal. So, you know, a, a, an, an advice, you need an advisor that's able to, you know, sort of evaluate your situation, pick from this, from this global perspective, from this breadth of knowledge with all these different jurisdictions and put the right structure together for you. And you just don't get that with traditional advisors that have always been focused on one jurisdiction because they don't have the experience and they don't have the knowledge, right? You have to consider all the relevant jurisdictions and structures and then the most advantageous one needs to be selected for the client's situation. And going back to the real world experience, right? Uh, I think that this is key because, I mean, I've learned this through my years of experience. Some jurisdictions look good on paper. They may look good. They may look better than some other jurisdictions on paper, but they're just a pain in the ass to deal with, right? Or you're not able to get banking for them. Or, you know, the, 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 the practitioners there just don't have, you just don't have good quality advisors that you can rely on to actually write a, a, a good quality trustee or whatever it is that you need. So it's very, very important to understand the real world uh, usefulness of these different jurisdictions. Because I've seen it so many times where people are like, hey, you know, this guy told me about this jurisdiction, it's awesome. I'm like, yeah, well, listen, on paper it is awesome, but good luck getting a bank account or, you know, good luck getting something done quickly or efficiently or, or, or competently, right? Or you have this weird regulatory requirement that you gotta deal with. So all of those things really need to be considered. Because like I said, you know, what a jurisdiction advertises and, and what the, their advisor advertises often quite different from the reality on the ground and what they uh, deliver. Uh, that's why an, an advisor with real world practical experience can kind of steer you away from the jurisdictions and structures that might not be so good or, 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 or so um, easy to use or useful and kind of steer you towards the things that work better. Anyway, uh, I know this isn't one of my normal videos where we're talking about a particular structure and how it works, but I thought it was important because I, you know one of the things that I've come across dealing with my clients over all these years is a lot of times they have a very difficult time finding an advisor with a multinational mindset and a global perspective to help them. And that's really what multinational families need. So hopefully this will give you some things to consider. Maybe some questions will come up that, uh, that you should ask potential advisors before you hire them to make sure they have a global perspective, to make sure they have experience with the citizenships and residencies that your family has and that has experience with where your entities are located, where your assets and your businesses are, and that has experience working with jurisdictions that will accommodate that, right? You want to make sure that you don't want to just go to a guy in sitting in, in, in one country and be like, hey, you know, I have this, this, you know, I have all these assets. I have these are where my businesses are located. I'm a citizen of these four countries. I have residencies over here. Like, what should I do? Um, because he's going to do his best to fit you into a structure that he can make money on. Uh, what you want is an advisor that's not so much making money on the structure, but making money on the advice um, and that has a global perspective because they're going to steer you in the right direction rather than trying to sell you whatever it is that they have to offer. Uh, anyway, I hope you found this useful. Peace.